Today I'm going to show you how to make a seated jump scare in Rec Room. So we're going to start today with a seat gadget. Once you've placed it, go ahead and configure the board so we can detach it and move it over somewhere where all your circuits are going to be. So next you want to get your monster and we're going to place it so that the front of the monster is facing the arrow at the front of the seat. You might want to put it up a little bit too, just so it's actually in the face of the person that's going to be in the chair. Next we're going to get an animation gizmo and we're going to place it somewhere close to these two. Next up we want to place a small cube over where we want the player to be once the jump scare is over. And we're going to hit done editing. We're also going to configure that cube and give it a very easy tag something that you'll remember let's just call it RP next we're gonna get a CV2 trigger volume and you can place this anywhere for the moment but once you place it you want to go ahead and configure the board and detach it and put it on the left side of the seat board from earlier now once we get done setting up everything you can put this trigger zone in a hallway so players will run into it or attach it to the front of a monster that's following players if you've watched my other videos but for simplicity and this tutorial we're just going to keep it right here so whenever a player enters this trigger zone we want that player to be spawned on the chair looking at the monster we want the animation of the monster to play and then once it gets over with we want the player to be transported from the chair over to our cube, which is like our, our waiting area, our lobby. So we have the main components we need to get them to the chair. We don't have what we need to get them to the cube, which is the respawn chip. And as of recording this video, respawn is still in beta. So we're gonna have to enable beta content in this room. So once beta content is enabled, you're gonna wanna get a respawn chip. And you're gonna place that over here next to the trigger volume and the seat chip from earlier. So what we want is for the player that entered the zone to be seated. However, we're gonna need to save this player for later, so we're actually gonna use a player variable chip. So instead of connecting those directly, we're gonna connect the player entered to the player variable. So next we need to prevent the player from jumping out of the seat. We're gonna use this lock players in. Go ahead and click false so that it becomes true and you're gonna to wanna to get a CV2 button. Go ahead and place the button and wire the press to the lock players in. Hit it one time and then delete the button. So now we need to determine how long the player is gonna sit in the chair. Basically how long your jump scare animation is. And we're gonna use a delay chip for that. Now we're gonna hook up seated success to run. And for this example, we're just gonna make the jump scare three seconds. So go ahead and click that or configure that and change it to a three. Just a warning for people using the monster follow gadget from our previous video, you're gonna wanna put a remove player role before the delay. Then you're gonna hook up your after delay to unseat player. I tried to hook this up to the respawn and it doesn't seem to work. Next you would think you just hook unseat player to respawn and it should respawn the player but this does not work for some reason. We have a workaround. So all you're gonna do is get another delay chip. We're gonna change the delay to zero. Then we're gonna hook the unseat player to the run and the after delay to the respawn. Like I said, I don't know why you need this extra step for it to work. Maybe it's just a beta problem. Also, I haven't tried it, but a set position chip might work in place of a respawn chip. Okay, so now we need to fill out the respawn chip. The target is gonna be this player variable from earlier. The position and rotation are both gonna be filled out by the cube. So what we need here are two chips. We need a get position chip, and then we need a rec room object get first with tag. Now you wanna configure the tag to look for to be the tag that we gave to the cube over there, which is RP. Then we wanna wire the object here to the target and the get position to the position and the rotation. All right, we're almost done. All we gotta do now is the animation. So what do we want to happen when the player gets in the seat? I want the seat to kind of come up into the monster's mouth and I want the monster's mouth to be going up and down. So let's go ahead and attach the seat to the gizmo. But before we attach the monster to the gizmo, the part of the monster that we want to animate, in this case, the jaw, needs to be separated from the rest of the object. So what I've got to do here is edit this 
then select all the teeth and everything from the lower jaw here. All right, once you have everything selected that you want to animate, you're gonna click this little options over here and you're gonna click split shapes. So now if we hit done, you can see that the body and everything up here is a separate object from the mouth and the jaw. So we're not gonna attach the entire monster to the animation, although we could. I'm just gonna attach the jaw because that's the only thing I want to actually move. Now, if we wanna start using this animation gizmo, we're gonna have to edit the animation gizmo. We're gonna hit add a keyframe and we want, because over there we set it for three seconds, we're gonna set it over here for three seconds. So first frame, it's here after three seconds. I want to, let's see, let's just, let's do a little, little, you know, a little rotation on the mouth. And then let's get the seat moving. All right, once you're done with your animations, you're gonna wanna configure the animation gizmo, set it to loop, set it to 100, make sure you set it to stop at start. Last thing we have to do really is just activate this animation. So what we're gonna use is a CV1 trigger zone. Now once you get your trigger zone, you wanna encase the entire seat in the trigger zone. Then you're gonna wanna wire the green pin over here to the red input on the animation gizmo. So we'll go in here, be respawned onto the chair, get jump scared for three seconds. It'll move in, it'll animate, it'll do what it needs to do. Then after three seconds, it'll pop me out over there where the cube is. Let's test it. Ah, scary, ah, no. There we go. Now, if you need help having a monster follow players in your room, check this video out here. You can also attach the trigger zone we worked with in this video to that monster. Or if you need help with the animations, check this video out down here. It's a little old, but all the buttons are basically the same. Bye. Hi 9%, thanks for making it this far in the video.